May your morning be colorful, joyful, and blessed. This is Mrs. Rose and V. Parane from Payapa National High School and I am here to discuss to you the parts of the sample assessment tool from the DepEd Order number 31 series of 2020. In its commitment to ensure teaching and learning continuity while looking after the health, safety, and well-being of its learners, teachers, and personnel, the Department of Education issued DepEd Order Number 12, Series of 2020, titled Adoption of the Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan for School Year 2020-2021. To supplement the said DepEd Order, the DepEd issues the interim policy guidelines for assessment and grading in light of the Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan to provide guidance on the assessment of student learning and on the grading scheme to be adopted this school year. As DepEd pursues learning continuity, it is imperative for school to take stock of assessment and grading practices that will most meaningfully support learner develop and respond to varied contexts at this time. The policy is grounded on the following principle. First, assessment should be holistic and authentic in capturing the attainment of the most essential learning competencies. Second, Assessment is integral for understanding students' learning and development. Third, a variety of assessment strategies is necessary with formative assessment, taking priority to inform teaching and promote growth and mastery. Fourth, assessment and feedback should be shared responsibility among teachers learners and their families and the last but not the least assessment and grading should have a positive impact on learning so i have here a sample assessment tool to be used for this school year first part we have the asignatura or learning area so ito po ang ating subject at ang sunod ay baitang or grade level. So, kailangan po natin iligay kung anong grade level ng mga bata ang gagamit ng assessment na ito. Meron itong pamagat ng gawain. At ang pamagat nito ay Hello Economics. Dahil ang ating sample assessment tool ay mula sa araling panlipunan. Sunod, pamantayang pangnilalaman or content standard kasama ng pamantayang pangnilalaman ay pamantayang pagganap or ang tinatawag nating performance standard na atin pong makikita sa ating mga curriculum guide meron din tayong code ng kasanayan or competency code at kasanayang pampagkatuto or learning competency ay tinatawag nating MELCS. Sa unang bahagi, meron tayong pangkalahatang ideya ng gawaing pangkatuto o ang tinatawag nating overview of the learning activities. Sunod, kahingian ng pagtataya or assessment criteria. Sunod po ay paraan ng pagtataya kung saan mamarkahan lamang natin ang espasyo na angkop sa tu natugon. For example, kung ito ba ay observasyon, pagsusulit, pagsusuri ng output ng mga mag-aaral, o pakikipanayam sa mga mag-aaral. Ikaapat na bahagi. Gawaing pagtataya. 
or assessment activity. So, ito na po ang pinaka-assessment natin o gawain o sasagutan ng mga bata. At dapat po malinaw po ang mga panuto since tayo ay nasa modular distance learning. Sumunod po, bahagi bilang lima, paraan ng pagtatala. Or, recording method. So, dito po ay katulad ng nauna, Mamarkahan lamang po ang espasyo ng angkop na tugon. Halimbawa, paggamit ng checklist, paggamit ng class grid, pagbibigay ng grado, portfolio, recording ng audio or video, paglalagay ng marka, anekdotal ng pagtatala, pagbibigay komento sa mga gawa ng mga mag-aaral, tala para sa pansariling pagtataya o evaluasyon at pagkuha ng larawan. Sa ika na bahagi, pagkakaroon ng consistent na pagmamarka or making consistent judgment. So, mamarkahan lamang din po ito ayon sa angkop na tugon. For example, pagkakaugnay ng rubrik sa kahingian ng pagtataya at pagkakaugnay ng paraan ng pagbibigay ng marka sa kahingian ng pagtataya. Ikapitong bahagi, pagtugon o ang tinatawag nating feedback. So, ang gagawin po dito ay mamarkahan din ang espasyo ng angkop na tugon. For example, Pasalitang pagbibigay po na mula sa kapwa kamag-aaral, guro at iba pa. Pagsulat na pagbibigay po na mula sa kapwa kamag-aaral, guro at iba pa. At pansariling refleksyon. I also have here an example of assessment for grade 9 science. Kung mapapansin nyo, ang ating activity title ay very catchy. Ang title po nito ay How Do I Breathe Without You? So, ang ating pong content standard dito sa ating assessment na ito ay Demonstrate an understanding of how the different structures of the circulatory and respiratory system works together to transport oxygen rich blood and nutrients to the different parts of the body. At ang ating pong performance standard is to conduct an information dissemination activity on effective ways of taking care of the respiratory and circulatory system based on the data gathered from the school or local health workers. So, ating competency code, SGLT-LA-B-26. At ang ating learning competency is to explain the respiratory and circulatory system work together to transport nutrients, gases, and other molecules to and from the different parts of the body. So, we have here the overview of learning activities. In grade 6, learners study the parts and function of the different organ system. In this lesson, learners review the parts of the respiratory system and how the parts function to maintain a sound body. They make a model to stimulate the breathing process and they also disseminate information about how to protect the respiratory system. This activity is in, pre is in preparation for the lesson on how the respiratory and circulatory system work together to transport nutrients gases and other molecules to and from the different parts of the body. 
So the assessment is focused on both their prior knowledge and new learning. Let's proceed to our assessment criteria. We have two parts, the knowledge and the skills. So the knowledge here is learners demonstrate understanding, yan ang keyword natin, understanding of the structure and function of the respiratory system. How about the skills? Learners will be able to create a model of simulate and breathing process number two fully explain the breathing process using the model as an aid number three prepare accurate information about how to protect the respiratory system and number four display the information in ways that reach as many people as possible so, what should be our assessment method? So, the assessment method is observation and also analysis of learner's product. Next, part 4, assessment activity. This is the assessment process itself. Using local materials, learners construct a one lung or two lung model to simulate the breathing process. Use a rubric to assess their models and show how a lung works to explain the breathing process. Next, have the learners make informative dissemination materials on how to take care of the respiratory system they can make a digital poster short video or print poster they can also upload the materials through social media or design an information campaign in school then collect comments and feedbacks use a rubric to assess their work Next, part 5, recording method. We're going to use class grid and portfolio. Part 6, making consistent judgment. We are going to use the rubric linked to the assessment criteria. Part 7, we're going to... Uh, do the oral feedback from peers, teachers, and others. We also have written feedback from peers, teachers, and others. Next, they must do the self-reflection as well. So make sure na kapag ang ating activity, ang ating i-assess ay performance or performance task, we should provide a rubric wherein the criteria is, is explained thoroughly or briefly and also the performance indicator para alam nila kung paano sila mamarkahan. Next, the self-reflection. Magbibigay tayo ng mga thought-provoking questions para ma-assess natin kung natuto ba talaga ang mga bata. For example, sa ating self-reflection number one, the most interesting thing I learned about the respiratory system was then let them answer in a complete sentence. Number two, I felt proud about the way I blank. So, let them answer as well. Number three, one thing I would do differently next time would be to blank, blank, blank. 
And then on the last part, you're going to draw a picture of diagram to show your proud moment. I hope nakatulong po ang mga na-share ko sa inyo. Thank you for watching. God bless us all.